And more schools are joining the Attorney General's office in its fight against the IRS in a portion of the Affordable Care Act. Attorney General Greg Zeller announced dozens of schools joined the suit in the amended complaint that was filed today. RTV6 reporter Julie Persley has more details now from the State House. 24 additional schools are joining the state in its lawsuit against the IRS. The suit is being filed by Indiana's Attorney General and a total of 39 schools. It challenges the multi million dollar tax penalties the IRS could impose against the state, local government, and schools under the employee mandate of the Affordable Care Act. It would impose fines on large employers who do not offer health insurance to those working more. More than 30 hours per week as a full-time employee. The potential penalty could be $2,000 per employee for all full-time employees in an organization. It's not just the statute itself, but the regulatory entity. We've never been subject to IRS regulation, and I think before they change the way uh, we do business in terms of delivering educational services to children, uh, they ought to really make sure that it's within the IRS's authority uh, to do this. The attorney general says no court date has been scheduled and there has been no response filed by the federal defendants, including the IRS. From the State House, Julie Persley, RTV6. And Attorney General Zeller says that he's also asking the federal court to issue a declaratory judgment finding that the IRS regulation is applied to state government and schools is unconstitutional.